Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Oversight Chair Senator Talena Nelson isn't quite done with her investigation into the hiring at the Port Authority. We received some of the applications and resumes of the people for the a certain position. Specifically for a program coordinator too that Port General Manager Rory Respicio confirmed on the link that he had hired former DOC officer Frankie Rosalind to fill. In 2019, Rosalind pled guilty to official misconduct as a misdemeanor for his role in the 2017 drug conspiracy case at the prison. He is also the boyfriend of the lieutenant governor's sister. That's not a political position because it's classified, so it was merit-based. Uh, he uh, submitted an application, he rated, uh, he qualified for the job, he interviewed, and the interviewing panel came back with a recommendation, and so the selection was made, and I made that selection. So. The process was put in place, right? right? And so now we're looking at, um, is there a way that we can improve this process? Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, it's not that, you know, I, I just want to make sure that people don't spin it to make it seem like we're going after an individual yeah, or going after yeah. an agency. That's not the case here. I know. Senator the case is, is how do we improve this process? According to Senator Nelson, based on the documents she received, more than 10 people applied for the program coordinator to position at the port. So we, we went through it and we have a listing and there's probably like five very good candidates that um, have experience, that have degrees, um, I think even one had their master's. Although the senator wouldn't go as far as saying Rosalind wasn't the most qualified applicant, she does say an overhaul of the hiring process might be needed. And so um, maybe we need to look at the government's merit system and how do we fix the merit system and make sure that the people that are qualified for the job do have an opportunity to get the job. The lawmaker is still waiting for additional documents from the Civil Service Commission, which she requested to do a post-audit investigation into the hiring practices at the port. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matsunami. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.